Hey guys, Eric Roberts from Worship Band Builder. Hey, one of the hardest things right now that we're encountering is trying to mix the live stream mix in the room. And I know a lot of churches are doing that. I mean, you've got two boards sitting next to each other. So you got the guy mixing your front of house and then right next to him, either you have a Logic, which is what we use, or you have another mixing console and you got them in headphones or in-ear monitors. And that's good, but if you can move it out, move it out. So as I've been obsessing this month, I'm thinking, let's move this out. So I figured out a way to, we don't have Dante, we don't have any of that yet. We don't have a digital snake. So I figured out a way that we can just take the signal through Cat5 from our Behringer X32, drop it over, a couple rooms over, and then send an audio signal back. Check out these adapters. This is what I'm gonna do. So right now, you've seen in previous videos, we've got our Pro Presenter, our A10 Mini, our X32, and then we have our live stream mix, which is on Logic right here. But the problem is, Hunter has to sit right there and he has to hear all the stuff in the room and try to focus on the live stream mix. So what we're doing is we're gonna use some adapters and we're gonna go from our X32 to another room. You wanna see that room? I'll show it to you right now. It's just across the hall. We've run some cables, actually still taping down cables. We got four cables going through the wall. They go up through there. They go out here. Just gonna be right in here. So those four cables are coming right out here and then here's the adapters I'm gonna to use to make this happen. Okay, these adapters are what's gonna run Cat5. This is, and I'll put the links in the description, this is Amazon USB 2.0 extender transmitter, and it actually has a USB, and the other side has uh, Cat5, so Cat5 and USB. So basically what's gonna happen is this X32 is coming out USB into our computer. Okay, that's how we're that's how we're interfacing. This goes out of here into here, creating a sound card inside of Logic that that sees all of our channels in the X32. Okay, so that's our first Cat5. We're going to run the USB right through here and right over to that other room. Then, how we have this set up, we are using a Behringer. Um, what is this thing called? UMC 202 HD. Okay, so it's just basically a two-channel thing. This is going into our Mac also with Logic, and out of that. We're coming out of the outs and going all the way over here to the A10 Mini. And that is the little cable right there that goes to the live stream audio. So whatever, whatever you mix, Hunter, goes from that computer all the way over audio into the live feed. So to get the audio back from that room, we're gonna use these little Jiffy connectors. Now these were pretty inexpensive, 10 bucks for both of these in a pack. So you, you, you use Cat5 and you come out of your uh, out of our mixer over there, out of our computer, and we come cat five over here, and we'll plug this right into the A10 Mini. So we're gonna send the signal from the board all the way over there, and then we're gonna send the audio signal all the way back over here. And that is how we're gonna do it. If it goes well, then what we're gonna have is we're going to have audio guy mixing logic in the other room. We're gonna put in some studio monitors, kind of fix the room up a little bit, and we'll have a, a, a totally nice, quiet place to mix. And our live stream mix can get just a little bit better. It can get a lot better, actually, because we can hear. So check around. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. All the links to my gear are in the description. I have a whole link to everything we're using. And if you'd like to join me, join me at worshipthekingcom slash join. God bless you guys.